Thank you. Madam Deputy Speaker, it gives me enormous pleasure, and I indeed regard it as a great honour to speak today regarding what I, whom I regard and many people regard as one of the greatest women in modern history on the occasion of the Queen's Sapphire Jubilee. However, before I do this, I feel compelled to describe my views and feelings as follows. During the election campaign and in the context of my leaving the business world to this new world of politics, a journalist had asked me what were the surprises regarding the good things and the bad things. In reply, I said that the most disappointing, surprising and bad thing was the Medi-Scare campaign of the Labor Party. Why? Because in my view, Madam Speaker, that was more than advertising puffery. Rather, it showed a complete disregard and, importantly, a lack of respect for my constituents and the Australian people. Respect underpins Liberal values and everything the Turnbull government stand, stands for. In fact, it is respect um, which underpins the reason why we are one of the world's most successful, we are the most successful multicultural nation on this earth. Respect underpins the Turnbull government's policies and everything we do. Yesterday, the Labor Party showed a complete lack of respect in the House. And this was the greatest surprise for me, the most disappointing thing for me to date. But this time, Madam Speaker, the Labor Party's disrespect was for not only our Prime Minister and the privileged position of being a member of the House of Representatives, but they showed a complete lack of disrespect for the Queen. As Prime Minister Turnbull made his speech, expressing admiration, respect and gratitude to the Queen for her service, there are a number of those on the other side who squealed with laughter and giggles, heckling the Prime Minister. It was disgraceful, abominable behaviour. It just demonstrated nothing more than a clear lack of respect and ignorance. Sitting from across them and observing their behaviour made me feel outraged. I thought to myself, they reminded me of an out of control classroom of students, often depicted in the movies. The leader of the opposition was not a leader at all. In fact, his behaviour and body language was like watching a teacher who was standing in front of the out of control classroom, waiting for them to quieten down. Perhaps he should have schooled the Labor Party class before his speech in Parliament, because even he, even he recognised that the Queen should be admired for her dedication to public service. However, this point was completely lost on certain members across the other side, particularly on the Labor member for Griffith and the Labor member for Bendigo, who were squealing and laughing like the two naughty kids sitting in the out-of-control out of classroom. The Queen's reign for over 65 years is an extraordinary milestone. The Queen is the longest serving British monarch. Only five other kings and queens in British history have reigned for over 50 years and more. Over those 65 years, the Queen has visited Australia 16 times and become patron of numerous Australian charities and organisations. She has brought nothing but joy, grace, and goodwill to thousands and thousands of Australians. No matter which side of the Republican debate you are on, no matter what your age, you cannot help but admire and feel gratitude for the Queen. I have the pleasure and privilege of knowing many young adults in my electorate, particularly thanks to the two universities and many fine senior schools. They, like the vast majority of Australians, have known no other head of state and consistently show deep admiration and respect for the Queen. The Queen is revered and respected in this country, but members of the Labor Party in this House yesterday failed to demonstrate this. On behalf of the people of Chisholm, and indeed every nation state, I acknowledge with gratitude Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth's years of duty and service, and I thank her from the bottom of my heart for her extraordinary reign and extraordinary service to Britain, the Commonwealth and Australia. Thank you. Thank you.